We've all experienced pain at one time or another, but for those with chronic pain, the experience is never-ending. Chronic pain affects more than two-fifths of the UK population, meaning that around 28 million people are living in constant state of discomfort and agony. It's more common in women, and the bad news is that without proper care, it gets worse as you get older. Opioids are commonly prescribed for chronic pain, but they're addictive and they come at a high cost. They have serious side effects. So what can be done? First, it helps to understand more about chronic pain and why it happens. Chronic just means long-term in medical jargon, and that usually means more than three months. It's sometimes referred to as persistent pain or disabling pain. It can last for years and it's usually ongoing and pretty constant. Pain can, of course, affect all aspects of life. It makes work very difficult or even impossible. Family life, relationships can also be very difficult. It can mean that people are housebound and lose their independence as well as any hope of a normal life. It stops people doing the things they used to enjoy. Chronic pain sufferers often have difficulty sleeping because of the discomfort they're in 24 hours a day. If pain goes on for a long time, life closes in, and if treatment after treatment fails to make much of an improvement, it can lead to anxiety disorders or depression, which in turn will make pain even worse. It can be really frustrating when you're very aware that there are treatments out there, but nothing seems to work for you. In my work as a trustee of the Arthritis and Musculoskeletal Alliance, we've highlighted the problems with chronic pain. In a new report, we found that patients often face delays and setbacks when trying to access appropriate NHS treatments and healthcare support. Access to NHS specialist services is difficult and often inconsistent. And unfortunately, the satisfaction rates when you do get there is quite low. When it comes to chronic back pain, however, some approaches have been shown to be effective. Exercises and movement-based therapies, such as physiotherapy and chiropractic, what we do here at Sundial, have been found to be really valuable. Pain is complex, systemic, biopsychosocial. The solutions must be the same. Cognitive behavioral therapy has shown some promise in the results treating back pain, and it can help people who are struggling with depression, anxiety, or insomnia. Mental techniques, such as mindfulness meditation and positive thinking, may sound a bit new age and mumbo jumbo, but they work too. Modern research is showing that when these approaches are combined, they're more effective than any single approach. That's why we'd like to see more joined up care for patients with chronic pain. Using a multidisciplinary team, our chiropractors, physios and massage therapists work in tandem with GPs and other health professionals to get the best of all worlds. It's important to remember that pain is always personal and what helps one person may not help another. There's no miracle cure for chronic pain, but there are a lot of things that we can do to work out our own solutions so it doesn't control us. The first step, having the right information about opioids and chronic pain. The next step is to connect with a practice like Sundial that focuses on movement-based care like ours. Book an appointment with us today for a complete evaluation. We'll show you exactly how you can find long-term relief from your pain. <laughs>